Now we have a real soft spot for President Hinckley because not only was he the advisor to the Tabernacle Fire for years and years and years, even during the time that he served as a counselor in the First Presidency and as prophet, but he is the one who had the vision to form the orchestra at Temple Square. And we had an opportunity um, to perform at a Christmas party that the First Presidency hosted for their immediate staff members. And we were um, really pretty much in awe over that idea that we would be in this um, lunchroom with 12 people, three of which would be the First Presidency of the church at that time. And President Hinckley in his own inimitable way and always being interested in everyone and everything, um, after we had performed, he stood up and he said, do you mean to tell me I have to learn to play one of those things before I can go to heaven? <laughs> And we talked, we clipped a little bit about that, and he said, what's it like? It looks like you're playing on glass. And so I told him that actually, as a harpist, you need to develop calluses. So as soon as that performance was over, he made a beeline over to check out what calluses were like on a harpist's fingers. And then President Faust came, and then they wanted to try the flutist's fingers too and see if she had calluses. <laughs> anyway, um, this next piece always reminds us of him, London Dairy Air. Um, we know it was one of his favorites. It was performed at his big, widely celebrated 90th birthday party and 95th birthday party. It was one of the pieces chosen to honor him at Music and the Spoken Word the week of his funeral. And I actually had a chance to perform it with his family for his 80th birthday party, which was over 20 years ago now, before the orchestra was even formed. So I really feel a kinship with this.